Welcome to the Somme Vigil podcast series, which tells the story of the Battle of the Somme in the words of those who were there. I'm Simon Bendry, Director for UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. This series was commissioned by the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport and developed in partnership with the First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme and Chrome Radio. It was first released to accompany the Somme 100 Vigil at Westminster Abbey, held through the night of the 30th of June and into the morning of the 1st of July 2016, to mark the centenary of the Battle of the Somme. In this podcast, Philip Sim talks about his grandfather, George Ashurst, who fought at the Somme. My name's Philip Sim from Wigan. And my grandfather was George Ashurst, who fought at the Somme in the First World War. There was a memorial service last night in Westminster Abbey for the Somme, and it was very good. The Queen was there, Mr Cameron was there, and we had a lovely seat. It was a very moving night. My grandfather brought me up as my father died when I was only four years old. We moved in with my grandma and my granddad, so I got to know all his stories. There's one particular story that always made me laugh. To when he got injured, because he was shot, gassed, and he had his feet frozen to the floor in the trenches overnight. So they had to ship them back, and they put them in these French chateaux. There was lots of wine cellars, obviously. The generals and the officers lived there behind the line, so of course these lads knew, my granddad said we knew what was going on. He didn't like the officers, because they had three miles behind the lines and let everybody go forward. This particular time, four or five of them, they found a cellar and uh, they must have had at least one bottle of wine, I'll put it mildly, I think, each. And then, as they went through the cellar, they came across, which was a box which they opened, and there was jewels and things in it. I think what the family had done was hid these down because the troops had taken all the houses. So one or two of the lads took a few of these things out of the box and buried them. My granddad had some sort of a cross and he said it was studded with opals and diamonds. He buried it under an apple tree where he said he would always remember where it was. And he said he never to this day could he remember when they went back which tree had he put that on because he'd been drinking that much. One of the other stories that he told was the Christmas Day truce that's well known that my granddad was there in the trenches that day when they decided against officers' wishes that they would down everything, that was it. And they all just got out of the trenches, the Germans got out of their trenches, they walked over, they were swapping drinks, they were swapping cigarettes, they were swapping family photographs and all that. Then somebody came up with an old football thing made out of leather so he said that was the game, it was a Christmas Day game. And he said actually we beat the Germans that day at football. The actual Christmas Day truce lasted three days before the officers actually came to the front lines and made them go back into the trenches and said ten minutes later they were shooting at lads as they were just playing football with. You have been listening to The Story of the Somme, a Chrome Radio production for the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport, in partnership with UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. The producer was Katrina Oliphant. In the next podcast, war artist William Orpen describes returning to the Somme in the summer of 1917, a year after the launch of the Somme Offensive.